Hey there, Internet. My name is Adam from Powerbelt 3D, and this video has been a long time in the making. Specifically, I started making conveyor belts for 3D printers 28 months ago. 28 months! That was when I built the very first prototype of this machine right here, the Powerbelt 3D Zero. And when I was doing that, you can see where this is going, I needed a conveyor belt. But it's not like I could just go online and search for a 3D printer conveyor belt and buy one. So after scouring the internet for information as much as I could, um, it seemed like the popular opinion at the time was to use stainless steel shim stock as the conveyor belt and cover that with Kapton tape. And while I've still heard that that works really well, stainless steel shim stock is pretty expensive, especially for the size of the machine that I wanted to build. Since that time, I have tried 32 unique combinations of materials on a quest to find the perfect conveyor belt for a 3D printer. We're talking I tried different metal films, metal foils, all of different thicknesses, different metals, to try to find the right combination of flexibility but also stiffness. I tried different papers, cardboards, cardstocks. I tried different plastic films, different flexible plastic sheets, all sorts of stuff. Through all of that trial and error, I found that there were seven must-have features for me in a conveyor belt. And if you are interested in all of that explanation and details, I wrote an article about it, and I will make sure to link to it in the description of this video. But just to set the stage, I'm going to mention those seven features that I think a perfect conveyor belt for a 3D printer has to have. It needs to be rigid. It needs to be flexible. It needs to be heat resistant. Prints need to be able to stick to it, but they also need to be able to release when it gets to the end of the belt. It needs to be affordable and especially important to me in a growing company. It has to be available in small batches. So the good news here is I think I did it. At least I think it's 90% of the way there. It's probably a little bit of a stretch to say that it's 100% perfect of a conveyor belt. I've been testing this conveyor belt for well over six months now. And so far I've had success with PLA, PETG, TPU, ABS, and carbon fiber infused PETG. I also had some mild success printing in nylon, but it tended to require a lot of glue sticks, so I'm not sure this conveyor belt is really the best one to print nylon with. This conveyor belt has a top layer made of polyester or PET film. Now I've experienced printing both on PET and PEI build surfaces, and I've found that they tend to behave really similarly. However, PET is way less expensive than PEI. And when you're talking about a conveyor belt with a lot more surface area than a standard 3D printer build plate, that cost savings can really add up. These conveyor belts are available on our website right now. And on top of that, for the first week they're available, we'll be offering them at a pretty sweet discount if you want to grab a couple of them as replacements. On top of that, every printer that we ship out will now ship with this conveyor belt instead of the one that shipped with our first batch of printers. Here's a couple of things to keep in mind when you're using our Formula 32 conveyor belt. First, I recommend applying a thin layer of glue stick to the entire conveyor belt before you start printing. This is going to help PLA stick to the conveyor belt, and when you're printing PETG, it's going to help act as a release agent. You see, PETG loves to bond to the PET film on the top of the conveyor belt, and so by adding a little bit of glue stick, you're going to reduce any risk of the PETG tearing the top layer of the conveyor belt when it wants to release from the front roller of the machine. Next, bed temperatures. For PLA, I recommend a bed temperature of 65 to 75 C. For PETG, we're going to bump that up to 75 to 85. And for ABS, I'd recommend 100 to 110. I'm really happy with how this conveyor belt performs, and I'm so excited to finally be able to share it with everybody. What I think is even cooler is that I added a customizable conveyor belt option to our online store. So you can go to our website, punch in the dimensions of the conveyor belt that you want to order, and you'll get an instant price you can check out online, and we will build that custom conveyor belt specifically for you. That way, if you have a different conveyor belt printer that you need a belt for, or if you're building your own conveyor belt 3D printer from scratch, we would love to be able to empower your project with one of the Formula 32 conveyor belts that we worked so hard to develop. Thank you so much for watching, and happy printing.
Do you see this? I can finally throw away all these conveyor belts.